This is the original SSD module for the Mac Mini M4 2024 model. Yep, it's a removable card. And here we have a third party version using the exact same memory chip as the original Apple kit. And guess what? It works. In this video, I will walk you through how we make this card, how it's even possible to create one of these, and of course, why we do it. This is a premium typewriter. I'm Alpha, your host. Welcome to my channel. Um, by way of introduction, I run a technology company. Uh, we develop Linux-based operating systems, and we also design and manufacture hardware devices, mainly in the consumer electronics arena. Now, in this channel, I like to share anything that I believe is interesting. Um, the thing that we design, we make, and the problems that we have, and the solution that we come up with. So yeah, I meant to say welcome, but I guess I was too nervous. Anyway, moving on. So, this story all starts with this nice little Mac Mini M4 2024 model. Honestly, it's probably one of the best value personal computer of 2024. Our company picked up a few of these for professional use. Apple, though, has this weird pricing strategy. The base model starts at 599, but you only get 256 gigabytes of SSD storage, which let's be real, it's way too little. The maximum you can get is two terabytes, which seems like it would be enough for us, but there is a huge $800 price gap if you want the two terabytes option. That's like 1.3 times more than the base model itself. So instead of opting for the two terabytes, we went with the base model, you know, to get our money's worth. Everything is great, it's all shiny and new until you try downloading something from the browser and it fails. You check, there's only 36 megabytes left on your disk. It's incredibly frustrating constantly juggling files around because you don't have enough storage space. And this is the reason we decided to tackle this problem ourselves, by applying our expertise and using the resources we have in consumer electronics. Let's take a look at the results first. This is the exact same Mac Mini I had earlier, the one with just 256 gigabytes of storage. But now, after swapping out the SSD module and going through a process that I will show you later in this video, you can clearly see it's not got the maximum two terabytes of SSD. It's such a huge relief because I no longer have to juggle files constantly. If I dive deeper into the system report, you see that macOS is actually working really well with the new SSD module. The smart status is verified, and if I hop over to the command line tool to check the smart information using the smart CTL command, you see that the data right there in the terminal clearly showing that it's fully compatible. Now, as for performance, it's actually better than the original 256 base model's onboard SSD. I'm running this benchmark tool to measure the sequential and random read and write speeds. I'll share the results shortly, comparing the 256 base model to the new 2TB drive we just installed. As for endurance, the one I'm using um, right now actually came from the factory as an engineering sample, the PVT model. I have only been using it for a couple of days, but so far it's been working perfectly fine, no issues at all. Of course, time will tell and I'll update you if anything comes up, but honestly, I really don't expect any problems. Now, let's talk about the actual process of upgrading the SSD in your Mac Mini M4. Unfortunately, it does require taking apart your device, but don't worry, we have got ifixit.com to the rescue. They've got a super detailed guide that walks you through each step. I won't bore you with all the details, just head over to ifixit and follow the instructions. But overall, it's actually pretty simple. The trickiest part is getting the bottom cover off since you need a prying tool. After that, it's a breeze. All you need is the right size screwdriver to remove the original SSD, um, pop in the new one, then just reverse the steps and boom, installation done. There's one more step after installing the new SSD. You need to revive your Mac Mini M4 with a new drive. Since the SSD is empty, the Mac Mini won't boot. To do this, you need another Mac. Anything made after 2015 should work, whether it's a laptop or another Mac Mini. Apple's website has detailed instruction for reviving a Mac, but here is the high-level process. Connect the um, second Mac with the Mac Mini via the DFU port. That's one of the Type-C ports uh, using a Type-C cable. Then while holding the power button, plug in the power cord to trigger the DFU mode. So once in DFU mode, you see orange light flashing in front of your Mac mini. The other Mac will show a finder window with the option to revive or restore the Mac mini. Since the SSD doesn't have an OS, 
just click restore now and the system will download the latest Mac OS and install it. The process will take about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your internet speed. Once it's done, a prompt will let you know that it's finished and you can safely disconnect the table. That's it, you have a bootable Mac mini with a new SSD. To use English as the main language, press the return key. So, it's been all singing and all dancing. Um, I'm pretty happy with the upgraded uh, Mac Mini M4. Oh, I'm using it to edit this current video, video actually. Um, yeah. yeah, but um, this is not without any caveats. So with um, full honesty, um, here is what we know so far. So the first thing, the first warning is you need to back up your data before attempting to remove the original SSD module. Now, this is because once you install the new SSD module and go through the process to revive um, uh, the system to in reinstall uh, macOS and once it boots up the BIOS is now having this relationship um, with the new SSD instead of the old one so say if I were to plug in the old SSD module into the Mac Mini M4 I would have to go through the same process like I demonstrated earlier uh, you will end up with a new Mac OS so you will not be able to go back to the data to the files that you previously have so if the data that you previously have mean anything at all to you you will need to back it up before attempting to upgrade your Mac Mini M4 now repeat after me back up back up and back up now this is what it is um, now that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is, um, like I demonstrated earlier, you would need another macOS device um, uh, as part of the process to revive to revive uh, the Mac Mini M4 once uh, the new SSD module is, is installed. If this Mac Mini M4 is the only macOS device that you have on hand, so this process will probably not work for you. You would need to borrow another macOS device from your friend, your family, in order to um, have the revive uh, process go through. So that's the second thing. Now, the third and the last thing is about this module that we manufactured. Um, the, the goal, our objective is to mimic the exact same configuration, the input and output um, specification as per the Apple original SSD module. Now, as you can see on, on this um, PCB, there are uh, many components and the most important Two of them actually one on each side is the massive NAND memory chip um, now we source this NAND flash memory chip from the same vendor to supply Apple to make this Mac Mini M4 so that this thing would work now obviously we sourced this chip not from Apple directly we sourced it from elsewhere from our channel partners in in the city of, of Shenzhen so this would mean that the um, testing and quality control process would be different than what Apple does. Now, having said that, this does not mean that we do not have any testing and quality assurance, right? Now, trust me, we have done everything we could to make sure this SSD module is manufactured, tested rigorously um, to the highest standard that we could actually offer. So um, this is tested, quality assured, and is manufactured by a vetted manufacturing partner, a proper factory. However, please bear in mind that this is not an Apple product. And the thing that we do here is not endorsed by Apple a company uh, whatsoever. So you will probably need to adjust your expectation in this to some extent. Now, one thing to justify this is probably the pricing. Now, Apple charges $800 on top of the Mac Mini M4 base model in order to bump the storage to two terabytes. Now, the cost, um, we make one of these. It's much less than $800. That's something that I can tell you. So to reiterate, this is not an official Apple product, but um, we have done everything that we could to make sure this is tested rigorously and it's compatible and ready to be used with your Mac Mini M4. Um, yeah, something that you should know. Okay, that's the, that's all the caveats that we know so far. Okay, to, to close, I'd like to share why this is possible at all, why we can make one of these. 
Um, so first of all is obviously the design you know it's quite unusual especially in the Apple Silicon era that Apple makes the SSD module um, a removable card because we don't really see this in um, all of the laptop design in MacBook Pro, MacBook Air and MacBooks they are all soldered onto the motherboard but um, um, maybe repairability and upgradability is something to be considered when Apple is designing the Mac Mini um, we have we have also seen um, the exact same removable design in, in Mac Studio earlier. So yeah, kudos for Apple for making this possible for us. And second, um, it's also Apple design. Um, like I said earlier, this card does not have any controller unit. Um, it's just the non-flash memory chip and the um, power management integrated circuit. So it make, makes it much easier to replicate to produce a third-party uh, compatible unit for us to do our work. Um, say if the controller unit and the uh, encryption module is actually on board with this module, um, then it would be probably another story. So yeah, um, that's the two possibilities um, by Apple's design that we can make this happen. And third, obviously, is with our expertise in both hardware and software d design and also our resources in the city of Shenzhen, um, the epic center of all consumer electronics and manufacturing. It's very important that um, we need to have the, the capability to fast prototype, to make one of these and test within the matter of, of days. Now, this is only possible thanks to our manufacturing partner. So yeah, that's why we can make this happen. Um, so we do have plans to actually commercialize this and making it into a proper product. So you can um, actually more than helping us and maybe you could also help you, say if you are a owner of the uh, Mac Mini M4 base model and I know 256 is probably not enough for you. So yeah, um, do let me know in the comments if you are interested in getting one of those and this you believe could also help you. Um, it's all being planned at the moment but yeah, um, to close, um, this is a premium typewriter. I'm Alpha, your host. I will be sharing more content um, of uh, technology, software, operating system, and consumer electronics, hardware in my channel. If um, what you have seen so far is something that would interest you, um, I guess I'll probably see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Ciao.